Engineer 775, I'm back with another uh, battery backup system. This is a hybrid battery backup system running off of solar, running off generators that are both propane and diesel. There's a lot of options with this system and I know I've shown you a few of these but this one is kind of really cool because he's got a couple different ways to charge the batteries. Again the batteries, you know, we're inside, we're in a garage and we still went with the AGM um, 8A, 8D batteries. It's a battery bank of 12, 12 of those. The Xantrex, which I've shown you before in other videos, they're secure load panel, so if the grid goes down, this panel is running live. And uh, so we're going to show you some other options. Um, one of the cool things of why I'm here, I want to talk to you about the, you know, the propane on demand is a, is a great way to heat your water. And if you've got a, the electricity to ignite and keep this going, this is a great way. So he's got his, oh, I love my phone, he's got um, the water off-grid water system so he's got pressurized water and now he's got the electricity and he's making around 25 to 26 kilowatts a day off of the solar modules on the roof I'll show you those and uh, and that's about it so we got hot pressurized water an off-grid system but I, the cool thing that I want to show you is the generator so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna turn off he's selling power back to the grid right now what I'm gonna do is turn that off the grid selling and uh, we're gonna fire up some generators. And what the cool thing I wanna show you is the Honda um, 2000 EU, the inverter generators are a great way to go because they're so quiet. And plus you can hook them together. You can put three of them together. I'm gonna show you two of them together. Okay, here are the little uh, Honda generators that are running off of propane. These have been converted to run off of propane. You see the conversions here. You can get these at Central Main. Um, but these are very quiet. I know the camera always magnifies the, the sound, but these are very quiet. I think they're 56 decibel uh, inverter generators. They have the, the companion box, so these are both connected and they're in sync with each other. And this is on a 50 amp circuit, they're running off of one gas uh, tank, but you could, have, you could manifold all three. He has three of these generators and all three could run together, which would give you about 4,800 watts of continuous power. And he's got it hooked into a 50 amp plug. So what we're going to do with this system is charge the batteries. And charge the batteries on the inside just using propane and these very quiet generators. And you could run one, two, or three. And uh, so that's a neat, neat <laughs> All right, just back inside, we've got this battery charging circuit again from the uh, two Honda companion inverter generators, and it's off right now. And on the meter here, uh, you see there's an AC one, which is the grid, which is off, zero volt. So I'm going to throw, I'm going to throw this breaker on the little generator and throw it up there, and it's takes a little bit of time, but you back up to 120 volts, 122, 123. It settles out after a while, so we do have the, the little Honda generators now charging. Well, actually, the batteries are just about floated, so it's not putting a lot, if anything, into the batteries. Plus, the solar is producing here. So there's a lot going on in this system. Um, when you get over a certain number of strings of solar modules, you have to go up to the, another charge controller. And uh, still, this system with uh, the solar that's in this location, you're making about 25,000 watts a day in solar. But if the sun's not out and you need more power, you can charge your batteries directly with a small or a couple of small generators or even a larger generator. And we're going to show you a larger generator that can run the whole house, but it can also be tied in with this battery charging circuit. So the generator is just feeding this Xantrex hybrid inverter and it recognizes it as AC2 um, at 120, 120 volts. So it's working correctly, um, just it's not charging the batteries because they were, they were already fully charged. So I'm going to leave that alone and uh, I'm going to go back out and I'm going to show you another generator option, a portable generator option to run a retreat. All right, back out at the generators. They're running nice and uh, 50, 50 amp plug, four prong plug, and 
that's what you would have to do to uh, connect these. So start it off with you know the stock Honda generators, converted them over uh, with a propane conversion kit from Central Maine, and then you have to buy the companion box, the parallel combiner that will combine three of those generators, which will give you 4,800 watts roughly continuous, which matches the solar array here. So it's a really good backup combination. Okay, this is... Uh... Okay, we just shut the generators off. There's uh, three things going on here, three different components, so I just want to make sure, because I know there will be questions on it. Um, the Honda generators were bought from a separate source. And then the uh, propane conversion for the carburetor conversion kits were uh, purchased from Central Maine. And then this is a duration duration power. It's a triple parallel combiner. And it will connect uh, one, two, or three of these EU 2000 inverters. It also connects the 1000s as well. And then, and then you basically can go with a 50 amp four prong plug and plug it in. So this system out here is very quiet, uh, very versatile, and then you can run one, two, or three, but it also allows you to charge that battery bank. So when the grid goes down, you're, you're inverting off the battery bank. Um, so, and uh, I guess that's about it. There's, you can run off of, you know, the small cylinders, any, any type of cylinder, and then you have to, if you're running three, you'd have to run another connector, because this one's only set up to run the two generators. But you could run a separate line from another tank and run the third and then the extra, the third plug set of plugs are over here to run uh, the third generator. So it's a really cool, quiet, uh, neat option for charging batteries. A lot of people sell these little Honda generators. They're real popular, but there's a place called Wise Sales that if you give them your contact information they will give you a quote on this but the hard to beat their prices it's uh, wise sales just uh, google search for honda uh, 2000 eyes uh, from wise sale also there's another thing on these generators they've never been poisoned with ethanol if you know what i'm talking about um, but they can run on gas propane and natural gas but these were um, bought new and converted uh, with new regulators and so they've never had gas in them and that is a definite thing you need to stay away from as a prepper I just think in general any small engines your chainsaws small generators uh, lawn mowers um, anything if you can stay away from the ethanol gas it just ruins carburetors it just hardens things and it just makes life miserable so you want to get ethanol free fuel if you're going to run these type of motors with uh, gas today Okay, the plan continues. This is a, I'm going to call it a bug out generator. <laughs> um, it is a, you can see it's on an awesome trailer. This is a Wacker Newson. It's a four cylinder Isuzu diesel portable generator on a beautiful trailer. And um, this thing allows um, this system to be charged a couple different ways. This is a, you, this is a 20 kW diesel generator. So you can run the entire home off of that. I'm going to show you how that's done. And then also we are using the 50 amp circuit to tie into where we did with the little Honda generators. So you can actually use the 50 amp circuit if you just want to use it for charging batteries. Or if you want to run the whole house, then you've got a 70 amp circuit over here. And let me just open that up. You've got a 70 amp circuit with a cord that's heavy duty and wired. And I like what he did on the back. He added this. It looks like a little spare tire but it's not so I'm going to show you what this resourceful prepper has done found an old wheel and mounted it on the back of the trailer and then you just wind the cord up this heavy duty cord you want to keep it out of the sun and that's why he did this you want to keep it out of the dirt so you just wind it up around the wheel and uh, you've got a great way to store uh, the cord and, and while I'm talking about the cord um, that's the thing that gets difficult sometimes of hooking a generator to a home and doing it legally is you need to have a transfer switch and here's a square D double throw monster switch that uh, you know they're expensive you know you're gonna pay $800 for a transfer switch I want to show you in the bottom he put this uh, mud flap on here <laughs> um, which is great to protect the connections from any UV light 
one of the expensive things that you get into with a portable generator is how do I hook this thing up and do it legally. This is a 100 amp Hubble connector and it's a pin connector and so you basically take your cord and you plug it in, plug it in here, I'm not going to unlock it right now and uh, it's, a, it's an awesome connection and this makes it uh, pass our local codes and, uh, and it's very safe as well. So when the grid goes down, the procedure is you come out, fire up your generator, or plug this in, fire up the generator when it's up to temperature and speed, then you can throw the transfer switch. So we're going to start the, the Wacker Newson up, and then we'll uh, run the house. Okay, we just started the diesel generator up. It's very quiet, very nice generator. We've got power meter brand new, it's got three and a half hours on it, just a beautiful setup, it's portable, you can take it wherever you need to go, but it will run this whole house, so it's running now, so we're going to throw the, throw the breaker, alright, we're over to the transfer switch, the generator is, is uh, running, so I'm going to throw the switch down, and now the whole house is running off of the generator. This does two things. It allows them to run the entire home, but it also will be sensed by the inverter charger and will also top off the batteries if, they're, if they've been uh, brought um, or discharged too far. Alright, we're disconnecting the generator. We've done all our tests and I wanted to show you the, the Hubble telescope. No, the Hubble connector. It's a 100 amp connector for hooking a portable generator again to this, to this cord. Then I'm going to wrap around the, the wheel on the back of the portable bug out generator. Okay, I didn't. Sh I started with the bottom end of the system. Here's the top end, and it's 18 uh, silicon panels. I got the nice dark frames, a little darker panels, so not not as noticeable uh, from from the road. And uh, again, it's a, about a 4.3 kilowatt system. Really straightforward out here. Uh, just a roof mount rack mounted system and uh, again but a little bit darker than a lot of times you see the aluminum frame so this looks a little bit better on a on a darker roof so all right that's uh, pretty much it there when you get over 15 modules you have to add another charge controller um, they're the they're combined in uh, strings of three and uh, once you get over 15 you got to add a charge controller and this system had um, 18 it is expandable you could put 24 or 36 you could add add on to it once you get to a certain point then you got to step up on the the um, charge the inverter charger this has one 6,000 watt inverter charger so when you get up to producing about 6,000 watts of solar and you're going over that then you got to add the inverter charger as well okay one thing I didn't show like in all systems we have a secure load panel so we put in things um, that are critical to each site and we wanted to make sure that the well pump was running on this, uh, that they had the ability to do laundry, lights throughout the house, uh, microwave, a couple kitchen circuits, uh, computers, an office. And uh, so we try to limit the systems this size to about 12 circuits. And the only 220 load you can have um, that we want them to have is the well, because otherwise it just puts such a load on the, on the batteries. So. Uh, so adding things again like propane, um, when you add the on-demand propane systems, you got your hot water. So between, between this with the well, your PV producing electricity to the well, and then enough electricity to ignite your on-demand propane, you've got uh, hot water and pressurized water. So you're, you're, you pretty much got everything covered. And uh, again, some of the best money spent is on the appliances, getting the appliances for an off-grid living situation that will save you a lot of money on doing a system like this. Otherwise, you start adding on uh, more inverter chargers and more charge controllers. And this is a, this is a good size, I would call it a, a good size prepper system for going to, for retrofitting any existing home with, with solar and having the ability to sell the extra power back to the grid, but also interfacing with uh, a variety of generators. And so, uh, we'll, we'll, we will see after a couple months of running how this is producing, but so far so good, and uh, we'll talk to you soon.